Welcome back to Channel Time Pod. It's your host, Red. And a video today from Life of Abundance. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that ciao. It's ciao time. Don't worry. I'm going to scare the way the same oh, way I, I scared away my last relationship. I love you! <laughs> I go to Disneyland pretty often. I love this ride because next to it is the Dole Whip. I usually get like a chili um, pineapple Dole Whip with like the chamoy and little fruits and stuff on it. And this is the only ride you can ride on while eating. <laughs> and it's right next door to each other. So I always ride this dude and eat a Dole Whip. I think I've seen this particular woman here that, that yelled this out because the, the jokes that they do on this particular ride are pretty funny. And this is always enjoyable. It's a bunch. Let's get married! I'm never going to hear from him ever again. <laughs> Remember one evening he said, um, would, would you like to come back to my hotel room so we can look at rocket videos. And I thought, mm. I was like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll come back. And um, and we did get into his hotel room and he did just show me rocket videos. Damn right. She really was hoping to see his rocket, but a different one. Autism's final boss, Rizm with the tism. What is the Rizm. pickup line that's worked on you? There's a fire truck out there for you because you're a bit too hot. I'm actually a fireman. Let him cook. Are you? Let him cook. I said, I find I'm hot and leave him wet. <laughs> I can't, I can't take you on a date. Why? It's, oh, okay, okay, no worries. It would work. It would work. Already? It would work. Already? What? That's fun. Who's this? Who the hell do you think you are? Just because he approached you and you denied him, you think he has to stay and keep pursuing you? No, he's going to go to another woman that can reciprocate. I have no idea what this girl is. Now, if you analyze this with your cheek slinging <laughs> shutting gun. <laughs> women hate this because it diminishes their power. She can't be choosy if the guy just moves on to the next girl. Correct. By definition, her rejection means absolutely nothing because according to the book of King Bustanut, <laughs> section S, Collaboration Scripture 3, my kings, if a girl has handed you a rejection, you shall find another girl to cure the erection. Mm. <laughs> 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 I was playing piano and suddenly Like you're approaching him And he just ignores you or gives you something And you gotta get upset Get the fuck out of here What she do Watch what happens next. They are confused. You know, this man being Asian just makes me a little bit more proud. Bro is really on a revenge mission for us guys. Yes, he like, is. Don't you guys love it when women get a taste of their own medicine? Can you please explain why you want to kick me out? Now, you asked Kylo Ren to trick you with the horse daddy. Is that unallowed? I just had to drag my AC out of my car to my apartment building. Three guys passed me. None of them offered to help. None. None. Zero out of three. Why? Because you couldn't lift it? You were too scared to lift it? Is that why? Am I intimidating? Am I more masculine than you? Hmm. Or you might be a whore, disease ridden, and they didn't want to touch anything that you touched, or you're touching you. That's why they just stood away and walked past you. You know, I live alone, 
and three of my female neighbors know that? <laughs> Why haven't they offered to cook for me yet? Am I intimidating? Am I a better cook than you? Are you female scared? Shut your trap. And yet, if a man were to offer her help, she would probably get offended and call him a misogynist and assume he's hitting on her. A creep. Feminist has made chivalry nearly impossible. If you see a woman struggling with a flat tire to help her pull over and yell, go girl boss, then peel out and drive away. Helping her change the flat tire would be considered mansplaining mm -hmm. and that would be disrespectful. Welcome to the matriarchy. You know where women don't have to worry about getting stranded? The kitchen. So last night, my wife made some enchiladas and I told her it tastes like shit. But for some reason today, it tastes so good. <laughs> it's pretty good, honey. Come on, finish them. So good, good job. Uh, no. This will never be me, trust me. Even my ex-wife hated when she tried to attempt to cook for me. Story time. She attempted to cook for me, but she doesn't know how to cook, so she didn't follow a cookbook. So she just assumed that she can put things together and it would taste good. <laughs> I tried it, tasted like shit. I straight up said, I don't like it. I'm not eating this. For never, forever after that, never cooked for me again, which was fine in a sense because I didn't like her cooking. <laughs> no, you'll never beat me up for that shit. I'm going to tell you the truth and you're never going to make me change my mind. It shit sucks. I know you guys are probably wondering why I look like this. I fell out the stairs yesterday. Oh my gosh, it was so bad. Don't forget, mm. when I was mm. laying down, what? When mm. I was laying down, you asked for them. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, bro, blink twice if you need help. I know this is just a skit, but flip the rules. This will be reported to the authorities because True. promoting domestic violence is not okay. Hey, are you, are you girls lost? No. no. Why are you outside the kitchen? <laughs> Woman replies that have no chill. She says, how's your thumb? Is it hurting? The guy says, my thumb? No, why? And she says, oh, I thought it would be hurting from all the bitches you keep following. Oh. Damn. The guy says, when are we linking again? She says, never. I've sent Snapchats that lasted longer than you. Ooh. He says, F you bitch i told you it's been a minute she says and i told you i had a good time i guess we were both liars <laughs> oh my God. You can, you can't the see guy it. says did you just stalk my instagram and like a picture from 2018 she says yeah only because you haven't looked good since then oh. Oh. Damn. 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 that's insane Yo, that's a pretty good like, that means no glow up there's no coming we're back you guys are focusing on the messages, but I just can't stop laughing at their content. Yeah, what is this trash? Seven point five. Attack names. It's gonna be a long <laughs> walk, sweetie. You're about to see what the real world is like. You right? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Thank hold, you. Hold on a sec. <laughs> guys be real jerks sometimes. Yeah, hey, a piece of wait. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I like watermelon. Bing bing chow, ding 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 ji chow. Let me order everything from the KFC menu. <laughs> bing 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 chow, bing bing bing. <laughs> hey, racist jokes are still funny. You know, like, I, I just don't take offense to them. It's, they're funny though. No, no, you can't because you did this. <laughs> Divided by race, but united by racism. Mm -hmm. Bro, use racism to stop racism. <laughs> Buffalo. Buffalo, New York? How did I know that? Long I'm a fortune Island. seller, that's why. Where are you from? Long Island. Long Island what? New, New York? York? How did I know that? I'm a fortune seller, that's why, nigga. Where are you from, man? Mexico. Mexico what? Mexico, North America? In North America. How did I know that? Because I'm a fortune seller, that's why, nigga. Where are you from, man? Uh, here. Earth? Yeah. How I know that? Because I'm a fortune seller, that's why, uh, nigga. How you doing, ma'am? Do you have any boy guy friends? Yes. Uh -oh. Do you have a problem with guy friends? I do. Why is that? Listen, are they straight? Yeah. They want 
No. Yeah. Well, what's the point of having a guy friend? Honestly, my guy friends have helped me so much. With what? Last night, I was at my best friend's house. I was there with my friend. They made us dinner, gave me ice cream, and I'm just on the couch editing. And they're just like doing everything. They're yeah. being my housewives. You know what he wants from me eventually, though? Doesn't. I'm a guy and I know what they want. He's playing a long term game. Have you ever cuddled with him? Have you ever... No. Okay? If you're down, say, hey, I really feel like shit right now. Can we cuddle? Please, I just want someone to be there for me. Just say that. Please. <laughs> and, you, and prove my point wrong. Yo. What's up? What's good? I'm pretty down bad right now. Wow, Can I come over? Yeah. Can we cuddle? Yeah, why not? My fellow cheek slaying disciples, according to the book of Hoology, section Thoralidians, it states a guy friend who she can always rely on always becomes a dick she can ride on. Do you have male friends? Oh, yeah. Oh, they're all trying to f you. They're for not. Sure. Yes, they are. No, they're not. What do you guys talk about? Um, cooking, friends. Are they gay? What annoys me lately with the culture of I want a man to do this and pay for this. You do not look up to par to be asking for the things that you are asking for. Bro, no you don't career. got a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. Rubbing and you pennies ask, together. Rubbing pennies and you together. expect a man to come in and take yeah, care of broke, dusty, musty, crusty. You, you no. not even taking care of yourself. You not taking care of yourself. Leave and the rich men for the rich <gasps> That's And leave the tall men for the tall <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to throw that out there. <laughs> no, for real, that is so annoying. Like I hate seeing a girl who don't got shit together, and she'd be like, "No, because this what he got to do." Because this what he got to do. You don't even do that for yourself. You don't do that for yourself. Your hair's not even done. Your nails are chipped. <laughs> like I'm sorry, that really annoys me so much. And it's just like that's the standard now. Ladies, again, men do not care about a woman's career mm -hmm. men will marry a starbucks worker a woman who picks up camel poop for a living just as long as she treats us right she is fit feminine and friendly and is loyal and brings peace that's all a man really wants and it's crazy that something so simple is yet so hard to find. To give a woman a choice, date a 20 year old male virgin or a 40 year old successful male lawyer who's bedded 100 plus women. The lawyer wins every time. For sure. Give a man that exact choice with females in those exact positions. The lawyer will lose. Nobody cares that the 40 year old is a successful lawyer. Nope. So. No lie, I high keep me feeling bad for men sometimes. And it's because a lot of these women these days are fucking panhandlers. Like, yep. I literally saw a video that this girl was saying, like, oh, I'm not going 10 minutes outside my vicinity for a man. Like, who the fuck do y'all think that y'all really the fuck are? And by no means am I, like, a anti, like, feminine. Like, I just feel like you all make things so fucking transactional when it comes to men and relationships, whatever the case is. Like, that's why y'all are fucking single. That's why the fuck y'all women are fucking single. Because everything is a fucking transaction. It's literally like, I'm not going to do this unless you do this for me. Like, who the fuck raised y'all? And then it's like, if y'all really like, like somebody, single mothers. why are you trying to finesse them? Why are you trying to get stuff from them all True. the fucking time? Like, a man is going to do whatever he wants to do for you. You don't have to fucking ask. You don't have to fucking ask True. a man to fucking get you flowers. You don't have to ask a man to take you on a date. You don't have to ask a man to fucking come spend time with you if he actually likes you or if he's not even close or to get you a fucking flight. Y'all just expect so fucking much from these fucking men. And a lot of y'all women don't have money like that. Y'all don't have the finances to take care of your fucking self, this. but you want someone to take care of you. Are you a woman or are you a fucking child? Child. Let me know. Like, me, if I really fuck with you, like, I don't care if I go drive a fucking two-hour drive. I don't care about driving three hours. I don't care if I take a bus. I don't care if I take a plane. I don't care if I take a train. I don't care if I ride a fucking bike. Like, I'm going to see you. I'm going to spend time with you. Like, and then y'all be expecting a person to give you gas money or do you an Uber or whatever the case is. Like, are y'all so the fuck for real? Like, and then y'all expect a man to really take care of you. Like, why would a man have to take care of you? You just met this man. And you expect him to take care of you? Y'all be just meeting men, and I kid you not, and y'all be like, oh, pay my rent, pay my bills. Who the fuck do y'all think y'all are? Y'all feel like y'all are so fucking entitled. And that's why, again, you're fucking single, and you're going to remain single for the rest of your fucking life if you live that way. Yep. Protect this girl at all costs. It's so true. Like, it's always about money, 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 money. Like, damn, can we get to know each other first? Like, they already be wanting a free handout like a lot of people 
spend way too much time online and compare the reality to other people's edited clips that are very selective with showcasing. Ask a bitch her life goals and she can't tell you. Ask her what she want out of nigga and she won't stop talking. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, we love the pom pom. Yeah, 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 don't know. Yeah, yeah, don't know. Is you gonna shake that booty or what? <laughs> Damn, P Diddy didn't age well. Looks like prison is taking a toll on him. You're on August 16th, you published a video with the description that says new secret BG boy girl tapes for mm. limited time only boy girl implying oh, male female. No. Mm -hmm. So you've mm. published to your No, it says BG. I know. So what I have people around for me. It's just my boyfriend so grabbing my ass and us taking like profit like pictures. We never you also sell a box they make it sound more nastier than what it is but if you guys want to subscribe so you guys can see what i post go ahead feel free it to. says the most explicit face sitting povs <laughs> you gotta make it sound crazy you're a worker bro you have to you're play. a worker bro. if you look at it literally <laughs> subscribe and you'll see all my it's there bro you're a worker. asked me do you want to talk vulgar yeah go ahead but say whatever just, you want to say it's okay. I don't think so. I you're scamming um, people on there? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's worse than being a set. Like, just and I don't go. <clears throat> She's literally on her hands and knees begging for subscribers. It's embarrassing. She is a scammer, and I'm glad that she was called out. She is committing fraud. Oh, wow. They said Lord Farquhar was on this block. Lord yeah, they said I'm trying to find him, Lord Farquhar. You sure you're not him? What you mean I'm not him? You don't look like you stole his whole hat. No funny. His what whole hat. Stole? His whole dome, bro. Man, stop. I can't get no it. Man, I can't even walk down the street. <laughs> I swear. I love this every guy. New Yorker has a black belt on roasting people. You guys know who's the final boss of roasting people? Bill Burr. Take a look. I've only met two people that had like a vibe like her in my life. And the first one was a dude. So that wasn't that. Hold on, you gotta clear that up. You didn't date the guy. Never did. No. I'm just, I'm just gonna make sure. <laughs> Why are black people like all this homophobia? You always gotta check. Like, what are you doing? For the story. With your manicured <laughs> eyebrows. Like, I'm fucking gonna sit here and act like you're all good over there. Like, you don't swing a leg over the fence every once in a while. You got fucking sandals on and white socks. You look like you just came from a steam room. No, I just mean like, I always paid attention to energy because my energy was terrible. I was like all introverted and blah, 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 blah. So I was fascinated with people that were just free. So that's what I meant. You gonna go back to sucking dick for a show again? This guy's a one trick pony over here. Filters and makeup. Makeup's lying. Makeup is the most accepted lie in society. Yes. Also, like dyeing your hair an unnatural color is lying. I suppose it is, yes. Okay. So, so reshaping your body and like working out and giving yourself toned muscles, that's also changing your appearance. That's not a lie though. That's you're you're actually making you're a change. You're accentuating your body. To, you're you're conflating exercising and getting fit to makeup, something that can be put on and removed. Couldn't you compare your beard to makeup since it hides your jawline? That's yeah, that is true. No, not really. How you is it different? If he does take it off, it's gonna grow back as a part of him. Whereas, like, we choose when we want to put on and take off makeup. Yep. I mean, but like, you can choose and when you, you want to take off a beard. It's changing your appearance. You can't tell your beard to grow a certain way. Well, you can shape it a certain way. So you're comparing a beard to makeup? Having that beard makes you a little bit more flattering looking in the same way that makeup might make a woman look more flattering. We just lost brain cells from their argument. Makeup to hard-earned muscles, which is built through fucking years of discipline? Do they not understand between natural and artificial? Like, take a look. Okay, I've been wearing this wig all night, and it's itchy, it hurts. We are going to remove this wig. Yep. Tonight, we told some people that these were actually wigs, and they actually didn't believe us. Even when looking up close to them, they didn't believe us, and I was like, wow. Now I just have to get the remainder glue off of the top of my head and take off the makeup that I have on my I face. So Let's get rid of these eyebrows. One swipe, they're gone. Other eyebrow, one swipe, she's gone. But yeah, that's it. Love you guys. I feel scammed, <laughs> deceived, hoodwinked, fraud, bamboozled, once everything came off, like, damn, Walter Heisenberg from Breaking Bad, is that you?
He needs some milk. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Yo, when I was with CJ, he wanted this. The little Ryan egg. Hey, yo, Mo, this is the perfect gift, Mo. Hey, good job, Mo. Good job. Yeah, yeah, Shout out to that lady that was railing against the sisterhood. She is probably going to get railed against by all of the sisterhood. But who the hell do you ladies think you are? I 100% agree. You think you deserve all that? Trash. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. I could use it.